Alrighty, everyone, welcome to our grand finals here of our 4v4 Vanguard tourney. The prize is $400 for first place, so loser of this will get nothing. So, uh, this is gonna be a passion match, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We got Gav map one. Let's get a crack. I didn't even have time to change the team names because, um, these guys started it. They're so passionate, so there's that. How's. Getting tweets out and helping, but let's get let's get on to it. Nice blood out of crooked here and team, team performance. This is gonna be so <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Oh, we got we got Vanguarders and Fake Land, excuse me. Fake land's backwards too. That's fine. Crooked the nice nade. And it's gonna be some decent time here going towards Vanguarders. Or fake land, excuse me. Pushing out as Andrew Crooked is going to be able to take out one, but gets traded by Diablo as they will be fighting for this scrap. Cherish hitting from ramp, trying to get this scrap for his team. They're looking for CRC on the hill. There's going to be two actually, and they're going to be able to take them down. So, and scrap will go to them, but S2 already does have cliff control as C, or as excuse me, <laughs> fake land. Gosh, it is set up for a new hill. Diablo top green. Not going to be able to get taken out by S2, though. He's going to make him one shot. S2, three and one, starting off real hot. And excuse me, a CRC. CRC at five, and we're hopping on board with him. And he decided to do a die game, Caster's Curse. S2 still live top bow somehow. Gets one, and does not see the other one on him, though, as CJ takes him out. CJ pushing out oil as Pandemic will take him out as 13 to 32 and counting for in favor of actually fake lands in the lead of this and uh they do have spawns for p32 so this is looking good for them pandemic watching over s2 on time will win that one as it's gonna be 16 seconds left on this hill big scrap pandemic will get taken down by cj diablo's actually got, already gonna be on new though as he takes out crooked and vanguarders have the have full control for new as Diavel and oh, Siege, as I say that, they die on the back heady. But S2 trying to see what he can do. Cherish is actually flanking. Be able, they're going to be able to pick up one. Knows S2 is here as well. Just playing Ratty here in P1. This is what they need to do. A great kill by Cherish again. CJ wins a one in the back. There's actually going to be another one on one in the back for CJ. He's not going to be able to win that. As it's going to be Andrew Crooked trying to make his way on this time. And get this time for his team. S2, nice wall bangs. Andrew's going to be trying to stay down on time. As Terrish wins one from mid cut. S2 still looking over him. It's going to be a gonna have to be a big win by Crooked. And he actually wins one. He will not get the second. Makes him one shot. And that's not a bad hill from Fake Land. They're also, they also have spawns for P4 as well. So this could be looking, this could be looking up for them. Uh, CRC already top cliff here. Trying to cut off this boat rotation. As he does get the calm that someone was close. They have a great setup right here. It's terrible timing with that nade on Sino. Still trying to take this gunfight. Rooked, nice crossfire there. Cherish gets one of his own. Trying to get another. Will kill S2 off of that streak. That is a big kill if you are Vanguard. Just trying to get yourself back in this game. As they're still spawning out, Sino trying to cross the time. There's going to be three players from Fake Land on time. And Sino's actually going to try to fight for this. He's going to hit the back and see if he can make something happen. He will kill Pandemic, so trying to get this scrap. CJ wins a one of his own as well. And Sino oh, starting to turn up now, okay. 66 to 80 and counting with this scrap. Uh, Vanguarders will be able to take the lead, but for how long is the question? Diablo already on new. As he wins a one on his own. And he is going to be the lone wolf here. Trying to stay alive and fight. As he will get taken down by CRC. And team. Uh, not team performance. Yeah. <laughs> and fake land. Are set up for this P5. CRC just going to be soaking this time. Staying down. Pandemic already top bow. And crooked. Is P1. I don't know how this mouse works. It's actually annoying. Wish I could switch to the right player. S2 still top green being annoying, and CRC just soaking this whole time. Gonna be able to win a one on Sino, and Crooked gets a kill of his own. They recognize that they're spawning in the back, and S2 is pushing out. Oh my goodness. S2 is going rogue. 
as all this P5 time is still going to the side of Fake Land. But as I say that, Sino wins a one on his own. And Cheris trying to come for backup to help this time. They do know they're going to fly at this S2 with a nice win. CJ trying to make something happen top boat. He will get that kill on S2. And not going to be able to win that one on Crooked, though. However, the rotations for Fake Land is already in. And they already are set up at P1 here. Vanguarders are going to need an insane break right here. Nice win from CRC. It gets traded immediately as it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one here for CJ to win it. And he's not going to be able to. S2, 17 and 10, popping off in this grand finals on a two-streak. Crooked on a four-streak. We're going to see what Crooked can do. Nice team shots out of fake, or yeah, out of fake land. And this whole hill is going in favor of fake land as they extend this lead crc with some nice wins sino trying to trade that out he will take out crc but gets traded by su s2 on another kill streak has six he is one off a glide bomb if he gets this this could secure the game for them or very well help them get a break another two piece for s2 he has full streaks somebody stop this man please he's pre-firing he wants them all he's still going he is still going 24 and 10 on a nine streak CRC getting kills of his own on new, trying to set up here, but the lead is about to go over 100 points as S2 getting pinned down on ramp, trying to see what he can do. And you look at the board, 24 and 10, 17 and 11, 18 and 12. These guys are absolutely frying on a 10 streak. S2 wants this grand finals bad, even though he's going to have to win two best of fives. He is coming crazy. CJ finally, or CJ Diablo actually are going to pick up a couple kills now for Vanguarders in S2 with another 2P, still 27 and 10. Looking for these spawn kills here. He knows that they're going to be pushing from top cliff. One player actually jumps right over him as he gets that kill. 28 and 10, extending this domination. Not going to be able to kill Sino though, as this might be, able to, might be the break that Vanguarders need. TRC will be able to pick up Sino. Will he get this 2P? No, he will not. And... That's going to be a trade coming in from S2 of his own. But let's look at CJ hitting this route, trying to make a play happen in the back here. He kills Pandemic. He does know other players are going to be looking for him, though. Trying to play his life, and he will not be able to. But number two, Sino trying to work for these back spawns as well. He does not know someone is behind him. Andrew Crooked will take him out as the score is 120 to 189 going into this P3 hill here, folks. Player number one will be hitting the back. CJ's just going to be flying on time. Actually, not going to check deep, and <laughs> that's going to cost him. As S2, 30 and 12, still holding the cross on the time. We'll be able to take out Cherish, and that's going to be two down in favor of Fake Land. As Crook is on a five killing tree, as he just gets taken out. But S2 already pushed up, and their pre the pressure that Fake Land has on this map has honestly been insane. The positioning and power positions that they have are just so so overwhelming for vanguarders and this last 20 is gonna go to fake land as uh i can't even think of their name <laughs> as i'm just gonna start saying sino and co as sino and co are rotated for this p4 hill and they're gonna need a full 60 here and uh, they're gonna have to start spiraling some hills if they want to uh come back in this it's gonna be two down so that's the start that they need but CJ playing Rowdy. P1 wins another one. A nice win from CJ. As he's 23 and 26 with a sub on Gav. Trying to do whatever he can to hit some routes. And he's going to get taken down from Pandemic. You see some pressure coming over here from the cliffside. A nice win from CRC. As S2 is looking over him. Trying to get his trade. But he's not. Cherish is going to be able to pick up two of his own on a three streak. And this time is obviously what Zeno and Co. needs. We're going to see if Bang yeah, Fake and Lander is going to hit this or if they're going to chalk it and rotate towards P5. CJ with another nice win. It looks like they're just rotating S2, 34 and 15, still on top, carrying their team. On the other hand, Zeno, 13 and 23, starting off a little slow, Cherish a little slow as well. They need to pick it up here if they're going to want to come back. They have to absolutely... Oh, and S2, S2 just doing it all. Just doing it all with the three-piece of his own. They're spawning out deep. They can't even make it to the other side of the map. As map one will go to... Oh, I spoke too soon. Sino at... Sino's able to break that, actually. But he's going to be the lone wolf on hill and will get taken down as S2 will grab that final point for fake land.
Uh, I'll make sure I get the team names correct this time stream. <laughs> Sorry for not knowing what was going on. It was so confusing. S2, 38 and 15. And I believe, I forgot who it was, but 28 and 17 as well. Absolutely frying Vanguarders right now. And Fakelands will have to win two best of fives if they do want to win this tournament here. So that's the first map they need. It's going to be 1 0 in this series. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to map number two. We have a Okage S and D coming up here, folks. Uh, oh, I didn't change the teams. No. Ah, uh, people are gonna be mad at me on stream. I'm so sorry, stream. I love you. I love you. I love you all. Hey, at least fake lands, right? At least fake lands, right? So, fine. <laughs> all right, we're gonna stick on board with Pandemic here and see what he can do. And last time they played team, they played Bokeh S and D against Team Performance. Pandemic was absolutely popping off. It's going to be a slow round. S two will get blooded. Diavol with a nice two piece. It's going to be a two v three in favor of Vanguarders. Diavol still playing this God Tank spot. He knows how powerful it is. Looks like Pandemic and Crooked are going to be trying to hit a route here around B side. See if they can get anything going. Smart play working together. Both have AR, so they know they're going to have to play longer range here. If you're the side of Vanguard, you just have to play together and make sure that they don't, that they don't get bombed. Like Crooked might have a kill here. Yes, he will. 2v2 here. Pandemic knows someone trying to play for him on top. Gonna be able to pick up the Avil, so it's going to be a 1v2 now. DJ wins his one, so 1v1. 22 seconds of CJ, not going to be able to win that as he almost absolutely destroyed Andrew, I believe. That was Andrew right there. It was. Good shots from Andrew, cleaning that up. CJ was coming crazy. A nice 2v3 from Fake Land. And that was a good play, hitting around through B and trying to get picks, working together. Their team shots were absolutely on point. We're going to hop aboard with uh, Andrew Crooked here, see what he can do. Starting off 2-0. and Starting off hot on this bow cage S&D. Going to be a nice first blood from Diablo. It's just going to be playing this spot middle. Trying to see if he can see the bomb cross. The only way they can get there is if they jump over a fence. He will spot one. Here's players all around him. He will be able to win that one against Sino. 3v3 now. He will get traded. Chair is trying to get aggressive and trying to find a pick on their side. 2v3 in favor of Vanguard. He will win that 3v1 now. All up, all left to S2. Let's see what he can do. Nice read. Kill CJ. It's going to be a 1v2 now. Not going to be able to hit those shots. As I believe... Yeah, Vanguarders do have, to, do have to plant the bomb. Or do they have bomb? They have bomb planted on Wow. <laughs> Makes sense why he's not pushing. I was so confused. Diablo 3 and 1. I believe he's. I believe Diablo has gotten first blood every single round. <laughs> yeah, Diablo has gotten uh, first blood every single round. Um, I mean, there's only been two, but nice plays out of him. We're going to stick on board with him and see what he can do. Four and one, absolutely frying, baby, on this bow cage map too. This is gonna be an absolute fight. This grand finals is gonna be an absolute fight. You guys did not see in winners finals, both of these teams went map five, I believe. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a spicy one. So sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn. What I'm telling you, people. Let's get it. Double four and one, like I said, on a two streak. Carries with the blood of his own, though. And Vanguarders are doing a great time, a, a great job of getting first bloods here. And nice information from Diablo for his team. Crooked wins a one on his own, though, but gets traded by Sino. Sino actually 
doesn't spot that player right next to him. CRC and S2 are left in a 2v3 here. They will have to put the bomb down as well. Two clearing out top, but that's going to be CJ waiting for him there. CRC trying to make something happen for his team. There's going to be Diablo up top. He's going to win that, though. That's actually a really good, a really big kill because Diablo was on a two streak. So nice win from CRC. 1v2 makes it a little bit more manageable now. And we're going to see if he's able to get another pick or not. Does hear this player above him. Gonna have to go for the plant. Fakes it and actually wins his one against Sino. 1v1, 12 seconds left. But CJ does know he's gonna have to plant the bomb on B. And actually, CJ wraps to A. He checks the wrong bomb site, so we're gonna see what happens here. As CRC has bomb down, and suddenly this 1v3 turned into 1v2. He won't spot him next to him, and CJ wins that one and has a little extra to give him. Has a little extra in the clip to give good old CRC. It will be 2-1 in favor of Vanguarders now. DJ at 4-2 and two, as well as Diablo. And CRC almost had that 1v3. An insane kill on Diablo top. Now this is a big kill too because Diablo's frying so... Shout out Sitch, the sexiest caster ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Guys got turned from that. Let's go. All right, one, two, and uh, we're sticking on board with CJ, man. <laughs> he is he is being that player for Vanguarders, clutching up and getting these kills for them that they need. Even though he did check the wrong bomb site, he manages to win that one and lets him know with a, little, a couple extra love love shots in his body. Yeah, but with another first blood, but Sino. One of his own as well. And the bomb is going to try to go down, but as Pandemic, that's a huge kill. 2v3 here. Make it a 1v3. He will win that, so 1v2 now. He does know where Bomb is. He's going to kill another 1v1 now. This is the second 1v3 that they could have if he's able to win this. It'll be a 1v1 Pandemic versus Diablo. 5 and 2 versus 5 and 3. They both have ARs. Pandemic is on a 3 streak. A. Extremely huge round for fake land. 27 seconds left to defuse. When he slides in and he's not going to be able to win that Diablo. Playing the corner in ASND and actually spots him through the cracks there. He is 6-2 and two now with another first blood in this game. Dina doing a really good job putting pressure and getting another kill as well, helping him there. We're gonna we're staying on board with the Diablo. Let's go. Give me give me another first blood. Let's see what we can do here. As it is three to one now. Fake land needs this round. This is a huge round for them. It looks like they're actually gonna play a little slow here. Number seven getting the blood for them. Cherish. A nice peek there as he kills crooked. Trying to get a two PC will nice shots out of Cherish. Pandemic goes down as suddenly a 2v4, making a 1v4 as CJ's hitting routes and S2 all up to him. He is their last hope. And he they know exactly where he is. He's gonna have to make something work. Bomb is down as well. You see Team Vanguarders just absolutely flooding this map, playing close together. They're not giving him anything. 36 seconds left in the round. Does so have to get bomb. Actually gets bad timing on this player top, but he will win that. Makes it a 1v3 now. Nice read, but not going to be able to win that gunfight against Cherish. Cherish with uh, three kills that round. And a nice two-piece two piece to start the round. Laying down bottom plat, killing Crooked, and then some nice shots on a Pandemic. As they take that round and go up 4-1 now. As they are trying to tie this series 
they need to win this map if they want to tie it up right here. They do not want to go down 0-2. DJ is 6-4 now. Starting to heat up. As you see, <laughs> the side of Fakeland flying at mid and CRC actually being able to get that trade. But CJ winning one and flanking gets a two-piece. <laughs> and just like that, again, Fakeland left in another 1v3 and they cannot win it. They tried doing something different, but got shut down immediately. CJ hitting these routes, playing this lurking role, and absolutely doing a great job of it. Getting free two pieces and free kills, shooting them in the back. As Fake Land is not expecting that. That was actually a great route from CJ right there to get that two piece. Had no idea. Eight and four from CJ. I'm going to hop on board with Crooked here for this last round. See if they can win this offense. They're going to need a miracle if they want to come back right here, folks. Looks like they're going to be trying to take control of Grandma's as Diablo gets a nice first blow with his nade. Opens the back window trying to find another, but Pandemic wins one. Crooked getting shot at, but T Pandemic with three. Oh my goodness. Just sprinting at them with the three piece, laying bomb immediately and Cherish in a 1v3 now with bomb down at B site. My goodness. Couldn't even switch the POV to Pandemic because of how fast he was getting kills. Nice read challenge. Harris is on a five streak now, but gets taken down. As, as a valiant effort. 2-5 in favor of Vanguard or still a fake land. And I have to just take it round by round and work together. Work these trades. And not get put in these 1v3, 1v2 situations because that's been happening all game. Yavel has four or five first bloods now. And two plants as well. See what uh, Vanguarders can do on this round. On this offense, we're going to hop on Borosino actually, as he's getting a little aggressive with the bomb. Andrew playing that old AS and D spot, just watching the cross and watching Zig 2A bomb. Pandemic looks like it's actually going to get in a gunfight though and not win that. Crooked gets some information for his team. CRC wins a nice one. 3v3 here. As S2 is going to get taken down. And the bomb is going down on A side, actually. Let's see how Crooked decides to play this retake. A nice kill by CRC. 2v2 here. Third, the peak. He does not know where he went, though. All Cino and Diablo have to do is just play bomb checks. Make sure they don't defuse. Someone, number... Bree is actually trying to go on a route right here. I not being able to get a kill top bar. He sees his gun. He does 1v1 now. Sino versus CRC. Well, Sino Chow, he's trying to play his life, and he does, and he wins the gunfight. And just like that, Vanguarders take the map 6-2 to two and tie the series up 1-1. One, one. I got to see how many first bloods Diablo had this map. Have to. A nice, a nice 1v1 from Sino. And uh, it was a good try from CRC and uh, Andrew Crooked. They almost had that retake. Yavel with, <laughs> Yavel with five first bloods, bro. That is insane. I don't think um, Fake Land got a first blood once, actually, now that I looked at it. A dominant 6 2 showing from Vanguarders here. Let me change the teams. I remember now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are jumping into map three, Tuscan Control, as the series is now 1-1, and we're going to see what happens here. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Players two and three. I actually like this play from Vanguarders. Um, oh, this is wrong team names. Don't mind that. They're backwards, but that's okay. Um, Cherish with a nice two-piece, and Diablo and CJ are actually going to be capping B. Diablo did not spot him back 
spawn, I believe. And I have a gun by here. He will win that. So player seven and eight trying to break this as Sino wins a huge one. Nice win from S2 though. As he's trying to make something happen. He's the last hope for their team. And it looks like B point. He's gonna get captured right away. Cherish wins a nice one on CRC. B point is already captured. All they need is A. Crooked finally cleaning them up, but they still have Diablo to deal with in their spawn. They have no idea. Diablo 3 0, trying to just play annoying and be a nuisance. He's not going to be able to win that, but makes him one shot. And again, you see these routes from CJ. I talked about it in SD and talked about it again in control. He is their route man, baby. S2 is going to be able to pick him up. Thank the Lord because they need something. A nice shot punch from CRC. He said, this is Cold War. Let me shot punch this fool. As it looks like Vanguarders are just going to try to bully this from front. Terrace is not going to be able to win that gunfight. Pandemic hitting you. Nice kill. And trying to get a two piece, he will as Diablo punches. That's unfortunate there. And CJ, the last member alive. And he's actually able to pick up one. He's going to look at this again. The routes. He is playing annoying. And he's playing for these spawn kills. I love it. Another one. These three kills that he has are actually so are actually so huge for his team. As you see, RC playing so slow and so scared for CJ. And Sino's actually going to be able to win a one on the side of P5, though. And no one's really going to be jumping on A yet. Diablo, the nice win. Because they're going to be flooding you here. Trying to finally get a tick on A. Nice shots from Diablo. Eight and three on a two streak. As they try to capture this A point, they will get flanked. But will they be able to get this tick? No, they're not. A nice stop from the side of fake land. CRC with a good win. But Sino, in their spawn again, in their church... Trying to make something happen. Cherish is going to take out S2. As they're going to play mid-heavy right here. And wow, a two-piece from Pandemic that I did not expect. Not Can't get the third, though. And Diablo 10 and 4 still alive. But gets naded as Sino is trying. He's going to try to get this two-piece, but he's not going to be able to. That's two down. No respawns remaining for Fake Land. So they, are, they have to do some major work right here. But that's a big pick. However, 2v5 now. As all they have to do is stack this point and force these members of Fake Land to Chalice S2. Trying to do whatever he can, but CRC actually taking out two. And trying, he's going to get pinched from you. He has no idea. And just like that, Vanguarders are going to win the first round. That was an insane B cap and a really good break. I actually like that. They sent one A, one middle, then the other two sat P5 and just waited for contact and to hit that, to get that late B push. S2 at 9 and 4 though. He is trying, trying to put his team on his back and do whatever he can to win this map three. We're gonna hop on board with him and see how he can start out their offensive round. This is gonna be a tough task to achieve. They have to win this offense or at least get a couple ticks so they can make it uh, a defensive overtime. S2 picks up a nice kill but gets traded by Sino. You know, trying to make a play and gets a nice two piece on Crooked. As you see. CJ trying to work up mid map. Not going to be able to happen though. As a team kill will come in for Diablo. And two ticks are going to come in for the side of Fake Land. This is looking like a good start for them. And Vanguarders are going to chalk that up immediately and play for this push through Pandemic not being able to win that gunfight. And you see Diablo holding this power position. He knows exactly where they are going to come from. This is such a hard position to kill someone off of unless you use your tax or team chow. TRC trying to kill him here, but he's going to get caught mid-sprinting. Diablo still alive in the back at 14 and 8. And you see Fake Land just going to try to work it from front because they cannot get that kill on the back. Cherish winning ones of his own, though. And CJ wins another, but gets traded by Andrew. Andrew gets a nice two-piece as he tries to wait for his team. They do know that they're going to be off spawn. They might be able to work something here. A nice help from his teammate. Good job waiting from Crooked. CRC's trying to slide across. They know he's deep here. He will win that. Three down for the side of Fake Land. Are they going to hop this point? Pandemic's going to be playing this close stairs corner. A nice spot to play on this point. That's a good win from Crooked up top, holding their top comms. Positions are held, but Pandemic is one shot. He's going to be able to get two, though, as a tick will come in for them on B site. As Pandemic is 13 and 8, he's turning up this round. And more members of Fake Land are going to be stacking this. Trying to get 
these ticks and trying to win this offensive round. And Pandemic with a nice trade. They're, they have to, actually, they're doing final lives 19 to 9, and they don't even, can't even get there. Yeah. So just like that, Fake Land take an offensive round just like that. Their A push, they had a nice start and were able to just holy front and stack because they realized Diablo was back tank. It's going to be a hard kill. So it was a nice transition from them and a great play. Not to mention a great play from uh, Andrew Crooked waiting for CRC right there um, to hit that. Even though Andrew did die, that was a really, really good play. He waited for his team in order for them to uh, jump on that point. We're going to hop on board with CJ, see what he can do here. He is the route man, like I've been saying, but he's actually going to get blooded here. And a, a progress on A is going to start, but... At, Kills come in for the side of Fake Land, and this is the this is the exact start that they need to this defense round. Up 30 to 26, they have not even dropped a life yet. And as I say that, it's finally CJ is able to win one, and a couple kills are going to come in. Pandemic trying to flank, but that's not going to work. Diablo on a point, and this is the setup that they need. Sino and Diablo stacking this point. They have someone watching their pinch. All they need to do is win these gunfights. That's a beautiful win from Diablo, and it looks like Cherish is... He's actually not going to play. He's going to be playing four kills. And he is going to... Yeah, he's waited too long. Unfortunately, got bad timing there. Sino just trying to get off the point and play his life here. He's going to get child by Pandemic. And a nice a nice retake, honestly, from Bakeland. As to nice win against Cherish. Good shots there. As number seven, CRC is just going to be holding their inner U. S2 is going to need help on this heady. Good help from CRC. As this is honestly great from Fake Land. They're staying down, doing what they need to do, and forcing the other team to overchow. Crooked getting pushed up in a good position now, trying to see where these members are from Vanguarders. It's going to be hitting this flank. Sino's going to pick him up, though. As CRC still in this U corner, and S2 still field. They still have to deal with him. A good kill from CRC. Nice two-piece as he kills Diablo. He's going to be one off a glide bomb. This is going to be such a huge streak. If CRC can get this S2 popping off, still getting kills. And this is such an important gunfight. He wins it. He has a glide now. This is so important for future rounds. CRC might have just helped their team secure a future round right there. Nice shots out of S2, though. On to Cherish. And Vanguarders, they don't even have A yet. And they only have nine seconds to hop on the point. They're going to have to do something. They're going to have to flood, and and they're waiting for it. Crooked wins one. It's traded. CRC gets another. The last man on point is Sino, trying to do everything he can for his team. Three seconds left. He has to stay on this point. No respawns remaining. He gets taken down, though. And just like that, all of all of Vanguarders are going to have to, are going to be forced to hit B right here. They will get a tick, though. So that is important for overtime in case it goes the distance. CJ actually winning another one. Crooked. Nice two-piece, but just like that, Big Land is going to win that round. And honestly, if you're Vanguard, it's that's not a bad round for you because you weren't able to get A, but you went B and you were able to get Tick and some progress. So map count is 1-1, one, one, brother. S2 21 and 9. I didn't even see S. Oh my gosh. CRC didn't die out of that U corner and he was on a 10 streak. I didn't even realize that. Oh my goodness. We're staying on board with him. He is frying. And for the side of Fake Land, they are honestly playing very good. If you look at, the, look at their kills and how they are playing this map, look at the scoreboard and some nice stats out of the crew. CRC. Gonna be challenged, Diablo, because he's winning everything. Nice win, 28 to 27. As Tino's gonna be able to win that one on B site. TRC still on a 13 kill streak. Let's see what he can do here, folks. He's gonna get team shotted though as he gets taken out. I CJ and CJ holding this B point. Diablo with a nice win. They still will be attempting to hit B right here. And CJ and Trying to use his name as a sub. It's a t not a good position for him to be in. I'm trying to get to the right players. I don't know why I can't see no last alive on this. Or depleting the point for them. Excuse me. He's going to have a one over here. He will not be able to get that trade yet. And two go down in, in favor of fake land. Make that three. As they are trying to 
still apply pressure on B, and I actually, I actually like this play. Two of them are on A, but they're still forcing these these players to look for them on B side. CRC, 26 and 16. Let's go to these players on A. Crooked, trying to just capture this. You see Vanguarders are just chalking this. They have, there's no reason for them to hit that. Cherish, playing back tank on this power position. We know how powerful this position is and how detrimental it can be if you don't use your nades or team chow this. We're going to see what happens. It's going to be a team push from Fake Land out the back. TJ able to get one. It's going to be one from Cherish. S2 trying to play his life. Getting chowed by Crooked, though. And CJ still getting kills for his team on a three streak now. Then the lives will be 16 to 16 here in this round number four. No ticks have been progressed on B. So it's going to be... So they're going to need uh, some kills here on Vanguarders to... Uh, Start making their way to this point. It looks like some action is going to go down here. P5. Yes, it will. Pandemic gets a trade. But Sino is there. There's actually going to be another player on Sino Top Church that he has no idea about. He actually has makes a great play. Allows him to run past him. Not going to be able to get that two-piece on Andrew, though. As player number one, CJ is trying to chase this trade. Not going to be able to get the trade, but he will be able to get CRC. Diablo picks up a couple of his own, and they're in such power positions here. Cherish getting pushed up top plat. Crooked, waiting on one of his own. It's going to be actually, this might be a good team push here for Fake Land. It's going to be the last one that they have with 14 seconds left. And they need a miracle if they want to win this or get a tick. And that Pandemic actually gets a nice two-piece. It's going to be a huge win. He will not win it. Diablo shuts him down and Cherish kills CRC. Last Kai on point is Andrew and he actually wins it. Not able to get that tick, though, unfortunately. That would have been huge if they were able to get that tick on B point. And just like that, Vanguarders take their defense. And it's we're going the distance, ladies and gentlemen. We are going the distance. Round five. We're going to see who has offense and who has defense. Okay, I guess that tick didn't matter because uh, they had defense, so... That works out for them. S2, 25 and 15. Pandemic, 28 and 20. And CRC, 27 and 20. These guys are absolutely frying, but Vanguarders, they have something to say about it. They do not want to go out without a fight here. Tino's going to be playing down mid here, just trying to play for some kills. They know they need to get first bloods. Diablo's going to get taken down by S2. Cherish is going to be the last player alive on a site, as that's going to be a huge win by S2. On a two streak to start this round. Does not see CJ though because of his gun. And CJ is going to be challenging CRC with a great trade. And no ticks have been made on a 28 to 27. Or 26 to 27, excuse me. And Unfight's going down. Pandemic trying to do anything he can to win this round five. Not going to be able to get a three piece though. Just playing annoying top fire. As Crooked wins that gunfight. And Sino trying. To see what he can do. He does get able to get a two-piece here. Last guy on point is CRC. CJ will take him out. CJ's challenging their side. He gets a two-piece. Crooked will go down. 21 to 22. CJ pushing, flying at their side, but not able to kill S2 there. As there's going to be multiple members of Vanguarders on this A point. And CRC with an insane win. Three down in favor of Fake Land. They're going to be able to hopefully get some map control right here. They're going to read this. Or Andrew believes he's going to read this push too, but they're actually, as they are actually going to wrap to fire in P5, so this might be a great play. It gets bad timing though and gets wall banged. Unfortunate. Gavel and Sino trying to make a play towards B. Nice win out of Sino. Kills Pandemic. Gets a two piece. That's going to be two down on the side of Fake Land. Sino playing this good corner, trying to see what he can make happen on this B point. It is him. And him only, baby. He gets one. Will he be able to get the two-piece with some help, with the help of Cherish watching over him? This is a good setup, but Cherish is actually going to get flanked. And Sino going to be able to win that again. But I don't think the tick came in for them. No, it did not. That was a huge stop. Oh, my goodness. That was an insane stop for the side of Fake Land. And Cherish has taken out one of his own. 9-12, to 12, and no, no point has even been has even been captured yet. These guys are slaying each other.
Yavel, big wins, bottom church, 8 to 11. As they're gonna finally chalk A. Things are gonna get tense here, 8 to 11. They're gonna try to stay alive, people are gonna try to play their lives and play slow. A big kill out of Andrew. Vanguarders only have 7 lives left here, they're gonna be playing through the back. They're gonna see... Actually, they're gonna play, play through church, S2 gets one, but it's taken down. Cherish and Diavel. Fair spots him on the back tank. He's not a gunfight. He wants to take. He will not be able to get that trade on Crooked. And just like that, a 3v9. CJ, Sino, and Diavel. That's all that's left. And that there come there, here comes in the glide. Here comes in the glide. Not gonna be able to get anything though. But they will still take that round five. Three to two. It's gonna be two one now in favor of Fake land. One more map, and they will officially reset the bracket, and we will have another best of five, ladies and gentlemen. In here all right all right ladies and gentlemen it is map number four as we go into this first best of five grand finals could potentially be a bracket reset happening right here as a, a crooked takes out one gonna be able to kill a cherish here and a nice start from vanguard sorry i was making sure the teams are correct um vanguard is gonna take some of this time but as the kills come in or the side of fake land they're going to be holding this down s2 playing a close corner with the sub trying to stay alive somehow and cj getting a nice two piece there chairs holding this time as this p1 scrap will it looks like be on the go towards the side of vanguarders diablo's already on new he's already on that nice power position and spawns actually do flip, or sponsors, do not flip, excuse me, but uh, number seven is trying to hop on board with him if we can. See what he can do here. He's going to be the only player here. He takes out CRC. Holding this time, player number five that does a great job at holding that power position. And this time is still going to go to all of Vanguarders. Do you have a four and one? Still on a streak here, holding time with an AR. Let's see if he can get anything going. S2 jumps in and wins it, though. Oh my goodness, S2. Coming crazy. He's pandemic not going to be able to win that. Sino with a huge win. Gets traded by Crooked. Crooked gets another. And that's going to be a two streak for him. He's going to be five and two. Turning up on this Berlin. He wants this bracket reset. He wants this $400, baby. And playing a nice ratty angle. Gets another. Watching the crossword teammates. And Hill gets a two piece. Can he get the third? No. He will get traded by CJ. But Crooked doing everything he can to hold that scrap. And that was a decent hold from Fakeland. If you want to come back in this. And they are set up for this Money Hill P3. Number 8 though, Cherish trying to say something about it as Crooked will actually get Cherish's own trade for him. And we are going to see the side of Fake Land set up here. C CRC takes out one. Diablo gets that trade though. Pandemic tr trying to hold the back here and trying to anchor these spawns. As they actually break into Hill from front. And excuse me, I didn't even see that. I'm sorry, they're pushing out on the back. And just like that, the spawns flip immediately. And the hill is going to go to Vanguarders, so that's a nice push from Fire to uh, to ha make those spawns flip. And all of a sudden, Fake Land find themselves trying to break this and go could possibly be going down 40 points after this hill. DJ with a nice two-piece. Tino trying to win this one. He will not. CRC will, but gets traded. And the spawns... Uh, CJ is actually already out. This is huge for him. Like I said, CJ is the route player. He has been hitting routes for them all tournament. He, there's going to be a player behind him, though. He takes out one, gets traded by CRC. His S2 holding this P1 position as his team is rotated for New Hill. 
Pandemic looking over crooked. Knows these players are going to be playing the back. Cena with an insane win. Good shots off the heady there. CRC playing his life on this back train. And he gets an auto mess right when Cino Chow's actually, but takes him down. It's going to be three down for the side of Vanguarders and fake land. Absolutely turning up. S2 has outer control, but gets taken down by Yavel. CJ wins a one of his own. And you see SRC up top in this power position, getting a two-piece for his team. He's going to have to try to stay alive here. He knows these players are going to be looking for him. He has help from his teammates, though. And Cherish not going to be able to get anything going as that P4 is a great hold from Fakeland, letting them get back into this game and claw themselves back into having a good shot at this map. And the gunfights are going all in favor of Fakeland for the most part, besides a uh, pandemic, but... S2, 14 and 7, still absolutely frying. Let's see if he can get anything going more. CRC takes out one of his own, or one on his own, excuse me. S2 with one, can he get the two-piece, though? And just like that, 101 and counting, 287. Pandemic is in... Oh, sorry, I could have just clicked that. Wow, Pandemic's in the top three. Going to get taken down, though. CRC playing a, playing a little rowdy and... Trying to get these kills for his teammate while or for his teammates while crooked holds this time. S2 holding P1. Trying to do everything he can, but you see these players are about to fly at Hill. Crooked picks up one. These players are stacking time. This is honestly uh, I, I like this from the side of Fake Land because they they need the scrap to um they need the scrap to uh, get a decent lead, especially going into this P1 hill because they don't have spawns. And everything is just going in favor of them, besides the rotation, besides the fact that the other team is on Bill and Cena with a nice win. Player number five is actually going to be flanking here. CJ, their route man, like I said the whole time, he gets a nice kill. And he does know one, or he does not know one's outer actually, and will get shot in the back there. Pandemic takes out Diablo, and the spawns will flip. Pandemic starting to turn up now, 9 and 13, he really turned it around from what he was. And Crooked in a really good spot still. Takes out Diablo on a 5, killing Shree, not going to be able to take out Cherish, though. Tries to. Cena with a good win in office. S2 pushing out their side, going to get traded. And Vanguarders trying to do anything they can to hold th this last scrap so they can rotate to P2. It looks like number 3 is actually going to be out already. And we're going to see what happens to the spawns here. This pandemic plays this crucial dice heady. And S2 with a nice two-piece on hold of his own. And because of where he's at, Pandemic is forcing them to spawn deep. And this is exactly what Fake Land wants. We're going to see how Fake Land decides and shares with actually two of his own. Crooked picks up one. Not going to be able to get two, though. And still, they're luckily they're able to get... Um, they're, they're able to kill Dice, so... Diablo able to get outer control, but going to get double child S2. Absolutely frying. Let's hop on with Pandemic and see if he can get anything going with him. And Hill gets shut down by Sino. And just like that, <laughs> Vanguarders are clawing themselves back into this. They're close to tying this game. It's going to be a big P3 money hill right here. It looks like they might still be fighting for old. Um, Crooked playing this truck. Able to get a couple kills here. Or able to get a kill here, excuse me. Trying to make sure these players do not get through outer docks. Not going to be able to turn and burn on that on that player. Chair is trying to play for the back. Excuse me, he's actually going to try to go fire right here. This AR, but CRC shuts him down. Sino and Diablo playing for the back, though. They're being menaces. All Sino has to do is play his life, but he's going to get pinched out. Actually, he's not spotted yet. He gets bad timing, but will win that against CRC on a five. Killing Street. Killing Street trying... Just stay alive. If he can get streaks here, this would be absolutely insane. And his team does get spawns because of him. So let's see if he's able to break the hill now. It's stunned in the back. S2 not able to win that. S2 shutting him down off streaks. That is a really big kill. And Diavel able to take down S2. So hopefully they can take the rest of the scrap. And as I say that, fake land is just holding it down, playing these close angles. And they're going to have the rotations for P4 going into this, and they're not letting them get out. Pandemic with a, at a nice power position. Able to get three, and Pandemic is on a three kill streak now. S2, 31 and 16, absolutely turning up. 
And we're going to have Crooked trying to cut him off. P2 able to get one. Looking for these players, trying to make sure they don't get through. Gets another. That's going to be Diablo down. Can he get a third here? 24 and 16. Not going to be able to get the third, but he is absolutely going off. Dino's going to be pinned down on this truck. We have S2 watching the cross. A really good position here. Watching the outer cross. CRC is actually challenging from Hill. Makes Diablo one shot outer. As Crook is going to try to pinch here and try to see what he can do. Gets shot in the back. Trying to find something. Finally able to get a kill. And Diablo's going to be in a really good power position. It's going to be hard to get him off this heady. It's such an important kill. He's going to be able to win that as last guy is S2 on hill. He jumps off. And the spawns actually are going to flip. Pandemic going to try to play for a couple kills old here. All members of Vanguarders are going to be on time. TJ's actually trying to work out P1 here. Can he win this? No, he can't. Two down. And the rotation comes in favor of the side of fake landing. Insane win from S2. Absolutely frying. Gets bad timing there. As actually Vanguarders are... Oh, he's going to run right in front of him. And fake land able to hold some decent time. They're able to get some kills. S2 trying to get this kill top third. We're gonna hop on. We're gonna hop on side with the chair. See what he can do top third here. Not able to win that gunfight against Crooked Diablo. Trying to hold clutch steps. He wins one. He's trying to play his life to see what he can do. Knows Crooked's flanking, but gets shut down from S2. Some great help from his teammate there. As S2 is 37 and 19, absolutely frying right now. Pandemic wins a one on old, and CRC. Or, excuse me, Crooked already on new, but it's not going to be able to win that, actually, as Sino is going to be set up on new. It's going to be a 1v1 on Hill here. And I don't think he actually knows that there's a player on time. S2, again, just being a menace, 38 and 20. Going off, he's honestly been key player of the whole series, I'd say, besides the SD, honestly. This guy has been insane. <laughs> Look how cracked he is shooting his own teammates. <laughs> Diablo with the two pieces of his own, though. It's going to be a big 35 seconds, honestly, for Vanguarders. They need this if they want to win this game. See, number one. Actually, let's go on number one and see what he can do. Crooked flanking. Able to get one. He's playing his life here. I think he's going to try to fight for this time, actually. Not a bad play. Kills Sino. Going to be one more close, and that's the CRC is going to be able to pick him up. Three down in favor of Fake Land. see how they work this crc top p5 trying to get when he's able to find cherish crooked's not gonna check the close stairs corner but the pandemic will trade that and diablo is the last hope trying to stay alive out he's doing a pretty good job making them weak his teammates come off spawn a nice kill from cherish he makes it a two-piece kills andrew crooked and gets traded but diablo is absolutely going off trying to stay alive playing his life and just being a nuisance here Tino just holding time on this hill. Gonna get child by Pandemic. Won't win that, but will get traded by Diablo. He's gonna have multiple people to work with. Gets one. Will he be able to find another? And Cherish is there for the help. They still are spawning in the back here, so this is doable. 244 to 233. Let's see what's gonna happen. Cherish watching this window. It's gonna be two players. Cherish is not gonna be able to win that S2 with an insane win. He's trying to do everything he can, but dies. CRC gets two as... That is going to be game, and just like that, Fake Land makes it a bracket reset, and we are going to be going to a second best of five, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. S2 was actually frying that entire match. 42 and 24. 42 and 24 out of S2. Shout out Diablo, 34 and 23 on the other side. That was an insane game. Almost, uh, Vanguarders almost made an insane comeback on that hill, but luckily, uh, Fake Land was able to get together and able to get, able to trade out and win their ones. So I believe we are gonna have to wait for these teams to do vetoes, and then after vetoes, we will get it started. So we will be right back. Stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and uh, yeah, second best five will be in five minutes or so.
Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second best of five in this grand finals here. All it takes, all a team needs is just three maps. Three maps and $400 will be in their pocket. And CJ starting off hot with a nice two-piece pandemic trying to trade him out and he actually will but cj still alive at three and oh pushing out the spawns at four no he's going off he said i'm not losing this best of five got on a five at one hp cj one hp in a dream and he's gonna get taken down by crooked luckily good shots from s2 and fake land tr good shots from fake land trying to get this scrap but will it be enough pandemic takes out one trying to look for the other and s2 will be there for the trade not going to be able to spot Sino there. Unfortunate timing. And player number player number five already top P5. A nice win. CJ again being that route player. Being annoying. And that's, what, that's exactly what they need. Especially on a map like this if you're a sub. We're going to hop on board with S2 here. He's been frying 4-2 and two in this series so far. Going to be able to pick up one. Gonna be able to pick up two. Will he be able to get the third? And no, CJ's gonna shut him down. But CJ will get traded by Pandemic. Pandemic gets a nice two piece as Crooked holding this outer street here. This is such an important lane. And CRC actually pushing up, getting a two piece on himself, trying to flip these spawns, but will die by that stun. That's unfortunate. We still see Crooked here trying to play for the back. Sino does not spot him. And Andrew's actually gonna leave him, but gets taken down. That was a really good try from him. Dino winning that gunfight at old, holding this last 10 seconds. And you see S2 gonna be able to clean him up on old. That's three down in favor of fake land. TRC, nice shots. Trying to hold this spawn trap for his team. Pandemic not be able, not gonna be able to win that, but Crooked last alive on his team on time. He's finally able to take out Sino there. Ego Chows. Ooh. Doesn't get the chance to win that. CRC taking a route out of here. Gonna be a tough win on CJ, but thank, thanks to his teammate Pandemic, he wins it. Diablo able to get one, able to trying to look over his team in Hill here. Realizes one might be pinching, gets bad timing, but CJ is there to help. And the spawns actually are gonna flip. They don't realize that. As Cherish four and seven on this time has 40 seconds, soaking up some good scrap right here. And CJ was with amazing help. Sino on the other side of the map winning his one. So, so far, this map, Vanguarders look like they are absolutely having their way and frying right now. Gavel in the back. They do have spawns here. And Pimic not able to do anything. Gets shut down from outer. But S2 with the two piece of his own. And we have CJ here pushing out with the sub. Crooked is going to shut him down. And this is going to be such. A huge break if you are fake land Sino. An insane two piece pandemic. Able to win that one against Cherish. He's outer boxes here. Is getting shot from multiple people. Not able to get to that power position. Sino on a three streak. 11 and 7. He is turning up. Actually hits him with that stun. But he will still get taken out. Pandemic. Winning one, winning one of his own. Killing CJ. Getting traded. By Cherish though, and this is going to be a huge 20 seconds that Sino is soaking up for the side of Vanguarders, and we're going to see if or we're going to see how Fake Land can do on this P5 and how their setup is. S2 pushing old, not going to be able to do anything though, as CRC gets traded out clutch steps, and Vanguarders are actually going to have this deep garage pond, which is not what you want. S2 and CRC have station control. This is huge. Going to be able to take him down. Pandemic wins one of his own as well. He's going to try to stay alive on time. He does win it. And Crooked picks up time. This is a great P5 hold. This is exactly what Fake Land needs if they want to come back in this game. And Crooked trying to get his shot back on. He takes out one S2 with a nice two-piece in this spawn trap. And now they're starting to turn up. Now they are hitting the strides and getting their setups and rotating better. Crooked picking up that AR, doing everything he can to watch these crosses. Their team shots have started picking up as well. But Sino answering back with a two-piece of his own. And Pandemic going to see if he's able to get this scrap. He's going to be challenged on all to see if he wins it, though. 
Fouled by Cherish, he does win that gunfight. And Crooked's going to be close. Pushing out, not going to be able to win that, though. He makes some one strike. Does get that trade, though, from S2. And Sino is going to be grabbing initial. We're going to see how Fake Land can try to break this. See, oh, CRC with an insane win. That's going to be two down in the favor of Fake Land. And you already see... Players pushed up S2, getting kills of his own. Crooked pushed up bottom secret, getting ratty. All he has to do is try to get these kills right here, but he gets bad timing. Pandemic able to find one. He's going to be trying to just play his life on this time. He gets flown at by uh, CJ. Cherish dub steps. Getting in the mix, getting some kills. And she gets bad timing, but Cherish is still alive, actually. Bottom fire. And S2 is going to finally be able to trade him out. Tino is going to be new. Does not know one person snuck past him. Garage is the only problem. Going to try to get this kill, and he's not going to be able to. S2, top three, fire. Going to hop aboard Crooked because he's going to get in the mix. He got one. He's, oh, nice uh, team shots there. And 96, or excuse me, 98 and counting to 177. We are going to see... What the side of Fake Land can do and if they can come back. Diavel picking up one of his own. We're going to hop forward with him. 14 and 12. A nice two piece. But Cherish trying to find Crooked on time here. He's not going to be not going to chow that. Crooked's got to chow that though and wins it on a five. He's kind of getting close to the streets. If he can get a glide here, this is going to be a game changer for uh, especially P4. Crooked wins another on a six streak. He's one off a of glide now. Needs to play his life try to get this kill this will be so huge he's gonna try to find cherish up top pandemic will kill him though and so oh, it's not gonna be able to win that cj shuts shuts him down off streaks and andrew crooked does not end up with that glide bomb that is so unfortunate for him this, you see the side of fake land trying to play through this right side they know how important these back spawns are for this money hill and the pandemic with the insane two-piece but they're going to need a lot more if they want to break this. CRC does not win that one. Pandemic gets shut down by Diavel as well. And Sino trying to hold down this time for Vanguarders on this first map. They need to win this hard point to reset. Or <laughs> they need to win this hard point <laughs> to get their mental back again. They lost map one last series. They're not doing the same. And just like that, as I say that, the hill gets broken. Pandemic just trying to play his life, trying to stay alive, and he actually will win that one against Cherish. Crooked trying to back a nice win against Diablo. That's three down, just like that for Vanguarders. Spawns are still are still in the back for Vanguarders as well. So if we can, if uh, Fake Land can rotate and get out, set up for P4, they have a chance of holding the 60 here. It's gonna be player number eight, Diablo. He's gonna be getting chased in Pandemic. It's a huge, and it wins a huge initial gunfight on new. S2 holding this cross, calming to his teams that they are hold, that they are crossing to the back. CRC holding deep. He actually spots two. He's gonna be able to get Sino. And CRC playing his life deep, making sure they do not hit for those spawns. Crooked on a five killing tree. He has turned up 22 and 17. Pandemic 27 and 15. Crooked going off right now. He is on a six streak. One off a glide. It chokes the glide again. Unfortunately, CJ shuts him down for the second time in a row. Pandemic trying to just soak this time for as long as he can while his teammates watches over him. And he wins that one. And will Crooked be able to get this trade? This is a big scrap. And Fake Land actually have brought themselves back into this 202 to 210 in favor of Vanguarders. However, the spawns are still are still in favor of Fake Land. You see number two trying to get out here. Diablo just playing for these spawn kills, making them spawn deep. 222, 224 to 202 going into this P5. Cherish is going to have top three control. S2 trying to look for this pick. CJ is going to take out Crooked. And you see Vanguarders playing these power positions, playing their lives, not making sure to over chow or give up any positions. Cherish playing his life, not able to win that gunfight on CRC though. As he's going to be trying to stay alive, CJ's going to take him out. S2 does not win that one against uh, Diavel. So just like that, 230 to 204, Cricket's going to have to have a two-piece here. Gets one, not able to find the second. Cherish takes him out. Cherish is 
one shot. Well, he was weak, trying to just do anything he can to stay alive. Actually wins that one against S2 there, and he's going to get chowed by CRC and gets taken out. CJ Chow's old gets one. Crooked's there to get the trade. But just like that, Diavel wins that, and they will have P1 rotation and initial. So we're going to have to see a insane break from Fake Land right here. They have one shot and one shot only to see if S2 can do anything. Picks up one. And CJ's going to get a two-piece. That might be all they need is CJ with the three-piece. Closing it out with the four-piece. CJ closing it out for them. Telling them they are not losing the second best of five. Vanguard is going up 1-0. And absolutely, I hope it shows us for the best play. That was actually insane from CJ. Oh, that's showing the first play. Well, that's fair. He started off like five or six and no, so. <laughs> CJ, 29 and 28. Honestly... Scoreboard does not show for the routes and what he was what he was doing on on that map. He was actually going insane. I've been saying it the whole time. He is the route man, and he is an annoying sub to play against. So props to them. And uh, Vanguard is going to be up 1-0 in this uh, second best of five in this bracket reset. We will be back with uh, search in a minute or two. Appreciate everyone tuning in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this map number two in our second best of five in this grand finals of our 4v4 Vanguard. Farewell 4v4 tournament, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to see what Vanguarders can do, and the team names are backwards, just don't mind that, but we're going to see if Vanguarders can go up 2-0 in this series. Actually, going to be going, some action going on P5. Cherish sniping, but CRC is going to be able to take one. Gets a nice two-piece as Sino is automatically put in a 1v4 situation. Spots Pandemic is not going to be able to win that. And just like that, fake land go up 1-0 to in this Tuscan search and destroy. This is such a huge map for fake land as last time. They lost the search and destroy. And the control and hard point was pretty close, so this is, this is an insane map for them. They need to win this. CRC 2-0. We're, We're gonna hop on board with uh, S2. He's been frying all series. See what he can do. The great nade from S2. Wow, that's typical. As that's gonna be a first blood for the side of fake land. And you're just gonna see everyone sitting here. Someone here number two is actually on a bomb. Might be able to get some action. He spots one. Kills Sino. Or kills Sino kills crooked. And Pandemic is actually already in church. TJ trying to trade him out. He should actually no. He's just gonna be flying on him. Sino does not know this player is chasing him and will get shut down. A 3v1. All left to CJ and number six pandemic's gonna be watching this he spots him CJ still wins it 1v2 now player number eight and seven are just all they have to do is just play the bomb checks I see CJ try to go on a flank here from fire S2 playing that fountain playing a really good angle actually CJ did not even see him and that was a great play from Vanguard or from Fake Land, excuse me, to actually get that bomb down still and run middle and obviously have that fire plant. And uh, two zero in favor of Fake Land. So this is what uh, this is what it's what they need. They need to come out with the dominant showing here and uh, get their confidence back up for map three if they want to win this. CRC loves playing this field size. Gonna see if he can find any picks here. Not gonna be able to get that first blood, but Crooked's gonna be playing close and gets one. He's challenging. Actually able to get two. 
And that's going to be a, a great two-piece from Crooked. S2 picks up one of his own and automatically left in a 1v3. Fake land go up 3-0. And are absolutely having their way on this Tuscan search and destroy. Crooked gets a nice kill on Tree Heady. And then Chowson is able to get kill Sino in the back. Sino thought his teammate was watching that, but I think he got bad timing. 3-0 from CRC and S2 still. Neither of them have died. And it's looking like uh, the dominant is showing so far. So uh, let's hop on board with S2 and see what they can do. Are going to get the information out there? Some field shots go down on the Once we push in close, and Cena will win that one. Wicked trying to play for this trade. He gets bad time. He gets caught mid sprinting. Cena picks up another. Going to be two for him this round. This pandemic is left. In a 1v3 situation. We'll spot him on the back heady, but nice shots out of CJ as he has that good position. It's a hard gunfight to win. And Vanguard is picking up their first round. Finally on the board, so hopefully they can get it rolling now. Gonna hop on board CJ three and three here. See what the uh, side of Vanguard is decided to do this round. Looks like they're gonna be hard committing a flying at this, trying to take advantage of all the map control that Fake Land is gonna give them. And you see number seven playing deep CRC, trying to see if he can get an angle of anything. CJ's actually gonna get aggressive here. Has a nice angle. He's going to be able to pick up one and gets that first blood for his team. And now, just like that, CJ has control of all of their side, trying to find another pick. But nothing's actually going to come to him. Might be able to find this player in the back here. He will. It's going to be a 2v4. S2 and Pandemic. And Pandemic, the last two alive. Pandemic takes out Sino, but will get traded from top fire. All left to S2. 22 seconds left. He will spot CJ running away. This is going to be a, <laughs> an impossible task. He can't even get there. He's going to get child. Nice win. Trying to play for a couple kills. See if he can get close to streaks maybe. And he gets shut down. And 3-2 now. Still in favor of Fake Land, but Hand Carters, they are coming out with the fire. Taking advantage of their lanes and taking advantage of open space and abusing it. Fortunately, CRC not able to uh, see CJ pushing him that round. CJ 5 and 4 still frying. It looks like the side of Fake Land are going to play a little slower and try to play for a pick, actually. Off of Orsino as he tries to play this close. You gunfight might be going down between number one and six. He's pandemic with a nice win. Good first blood for the side of Fake Land. But Cherish answers back with one of his own. Still gonna be a snail's paced round. Pandemic might have seen him or saw his name there. Bomb um, is still in spawn for the side of Fake Land. Looks like they're going to be trying to work B. Gobble. Link across. Spots one. He's going to get double chow. That's a great peek by Crooked and Pandemic. 2v3. Sino and Cherish are going to try to see if they are able to clutch this up. Vanguard is planting safe. Four top comms. I like that plant. Not exposing themselves and not giving their team a chance to have a free pick on Bomb. Cherish going to get taken down by Crooked. And Sino, 1v3 with 30 seconds left with Bomb down. He's going to have to make something happen here. Wins one against Crooked. Knows there is a player up here. Trying to wait for his health to regen. TRC is going to be able to take him out from top plat. Is this the second best of five? Yes, sir, this is the second best of five, Zeno. Second best of five, and um, 
Paco and Co. are down 0-1. Four two, and Bakeland trying to trying to pull away right here. That was actually a really good, uh, really good round by them getting a pick and then wrapping it to be. Pandemic making Diablo one shot, but CJ's gonna be outer, trying to kill Pandemic. You're trying to get this blood for his team. He will get naded, and CJ takes him out. A nice nade and chow, honestly, from CJ Diablo trying to watch mid map here. Actually, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a flank here. TRC and Andrew. TRC does know he's in fire. He just he did not seem cross back though. Nice win by S two three three now. TRC is gonna spot Sino bottom mid. TRC trying to get away with his life, but he's not crooked. Last alive in a one v three. He's not going to be able to get a pick, and just like that, Vanguarders, with a nice run. I honestly thought that Bakeland had a chance whenever CRC and uh, Crooked were flanking, but good adjustment out of uh, Vanguarders. Sino you know, doing a really good job of playing his life out mid and going from bottom church to mid and staying alive. Props to him. DJ and Sino popping off. We're going to hop on board with uh, Cherish here. See if he can get a first blood for his team. He does, does not spot CRC, actually. Diablo with a nice blood, though. And Sino is one shot. Inner U, this is a great setup for Vanguarders, honestly. Have every lane locked down. But as I say that, CRC wins one, and CJ pushes up and gets taken out by S2. Just like that, a 3v2 situation in favor of Fake Land. And S2 with a great win against Diavel. Last alive is Sino. And he does know they are going to be going. Yeah, I believe he does not see anything. Eh? So, I'm going to try to rotate quickly. And S2 is going to catch him in this corner here. Yes, he does. Fake land up 5-3 to three now. Match point in favor of them. All they need is one more round. And they will take this map to... And tie the series up. You know what? For this round, we're, we're, we're sticking on S2. Nine and four, three plants. Like, I'm on. Someone guard him. Oh, <laughs> insane shots off Diablo off rip. Pandemic gets a nice blood. Pandemic with a two-piece. Oh my goodness. They, they don't know, but they actually do have bomb down as well. It's going to be a 4v2 situation. Diavel and Sino left. Diavel trying to get a pick on Pandemic. He actually doesn't spot CRC deep. Number two, Sino trying to get a pick here. That's all these players are trying to do. Is just trying to find an opening for them to work with. And just like that 1v4, a 1v4 for Diablo to keep his team alive in this SND. He's getting shot from everywhere. These people are gonna be pushing him out. And he's gonna run into contact here and will get shut down just like that. Bakeland tie up the series 1-1 and it is in a 6-3 fashion on Tuscan. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a series on our hand. This is second this is the second best of five. 1-1 one, one in the series. First place gets $400. Second place gets nothing. And 10 and 4 from S2. Two first bloods out of the kid as well. And you see a lot of first bloods out of Fake Land. And that was not the case whenever they played the first best of five on Bow Cage. It's actually the complete opposite with Diablo getting five first bloods and CJ, I believe, having one or two. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will get to map three control in just a minute or two.
Yes, sir. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. 1-1 one, one in the series. And uh, we're going to see what happens in this control. And the teams are right this time. So, uh, no confusion. No confusion. <laughs> CRC able to find that first blood. And Sino taking out one of his own. But CRC with a nice two-piece starting off this round hot. And make it a three-piece for CRC. 3-0 and oh here at the start of this round. CJ trying to stop this tick. He will he, he will with the three-piece, actually. And he will be pushed up in their spawn. But Pandemic is going to be able to trade him out. Crooked able to find one. And actually, the, these guys are going to try to hit B and try to get a tick and see what they can do. It's a nice play. I like this from Andrew pushing out the back. He spots one nice kill on CJ. Now this is where the setup comes in. Three down in favor of Fakeland. This is... This is where they can demoralize Vanguarders and put them in the dirt right here. Diavol trying to, trying to break this hill, but CJ actually just going to fly right in and get a two-piece, but Crooked answering right back with a two-piece of his own. And the second tick is about to come through. He is able to trade Cherish. That second tick does come through. He will die, though. However, that second tick is huge for them right there. Diavol kills Pandemic out of their spawn, and finally, they get them off of B, but however, you look at the minimap, and all of these players are on A site. S2 only 2-2, two and two, not having to do anything this map, having to take a little weight off his shoulders, thanks to Crooked. He is frying. And we're going to see they actually are not going to be able to capture this A, because CJ is coming in, flying at them, but Crooked again with the trade. Crooked has been playing excellent this game, playing close to his team, getting so many trades. Every time we spectate him, he's always making sure that he gets the trade. And then Control, he, those lives are important. They're up 16 to 11. CJ's going to be holding this push through. Going to see if he can find anything. Going to get shut down, though. S2 finds one of his own, and he's... Oh, my goodness! S2 ripping Cherish off the back tank, Hetty. What the? I can't say that on stream. He is trying to work for these kills. So, and Crooked on the other side, just doing his thing. Four down, no respawns remaining. Fake land, turning up right here, about to capture B. They kill Sino, and just like that, they capture A and B point. Fake land, absolutely turning up. S2, what are you doing, bud? Like, you're, you're, you're challenging back tank, and he's on a heady. You're, you're, you're smoking him. The kid's turn. He wants this best of five. In this grand finals, baby. He said, he said it once, I'll do it again, baby. Two and seven from Cherish. You know, three and seven starting out a little slow for the side of Vanguarders. And then you just look at Crooked, 10 and two. CRC, eight and five. And S2, five and three, even though those kills are absolutely huge. The Avil just capturing that point. And actually gets taken down by Pandemic. Pandemic with a nice two piece of his own. Turning up for his team's in a really good position. He has this AR, so he's just going to try to get a couple picks here. Able to get one. And the rest will be on B. That's, it's a five kill streak for Pandemic now. And not able to take out Diablo, however. And Cherish is not going to be able to win that gunfight. Nice shot out of S2. And S2 holding this top charge. Gets another pick onto CJ. CRC with Pandemic flooding onto the site. They have the life advantage. With a nice win, 25-19, to 19, 25 to 18, and gunfights are going down middle. Crooked winning at 11 and 2 out of Crooked. On a 5 kill streak right now, Vanguarders are trying to just do anything that they can to get back in this game. They're going to try to try a B hit here, but Crooked's going to be waiting for it. And Crooked with 11 and 2, he's going to try to play for his streaks. I believe he's only, is he only one off streaks? Or that, nah, that might have been from before. CRC pushed up top, and Pandemic absolutely destroys Cherish Crooked with a nice win on point, but that's going to be, they're still going to have one more player to deal with, and that's going to be CJ at 11 and 12 on B point. This is going to be a huge win for him, and he will take that gunfight when Cherish picks up one of his own, and so that's going to be three down in favor of Vanguarders. CJ is chowing back uh, truck head. He does not care. He's going to be able to get that tick at least. That's going to be huge for them. At least they're able to get that tick since the lives are, since they are so beh far behind in lives. CRC gets taken down from, or by Cherish, excuse me. Cherish and Diablo top doing some work together. Trying to see what can come out of this push. Sino's not going to be, not going to check that. And Cherish still alive, playing top plat. All he needs to do is just try to get a couple kills here for his team. 
He's going to be able to get one, but Crooked trades him out as Diavol stays alive, but will get traded. And two go down on the side of Vanguard. Just make that three. CJ gets taken out by S2. And Pandemic is in a great position. He's going to be getting shot at. He's going to shall it, though. No, he's not. He's going to be playing disciplined. And gets shot in the side. Crooked Field not going to be able to win that. We'll hop on board with Cherish. See what they can do. Diavol gets a nice trade, but S2 with the three-piece. 13-8, no respawns remaining for the side of Vanguarders. And he will, uh, CJ, excuse me, will get taken down. Cherish, Tino, and Diavol, the only ones left alive here, trying to see if they can get one more push to maybe get one tick at least. Cherish trying to find Crooked Top, and he's not. Sino's going to be last alive. They know where he is at, and he's not going to be able to take anyone down with him. And just like that, Fake Land go up 2-0 in this control. Map count, map count is 1-1 right now. Can Fake Land close this out in a 3-0 fashion on this control Tuscan? Sino 7 and 15 as well as Cherish 7 and 15 not doing the best. They need to turn up here and turn it around if they want to win this. Nice blood out of Cherish. And that's going to be an uh, even trade there. And Crooked takes out Diavol, so... 29 to 28. Nice shots out of Cherish. They're trying to come crazy and trying to get cracked. They're not out of this yet. S2 will take him out, however. Sino trying to hit her out, but will get taken down. And it is just all blue in the kill feed. S2 going off, getting the second tick, pushing up to their pillar, killing Cherish. Oh my goodness. You see Pandemic on the other side of the map. Already he's ready for this B push. And he will kill one. Can he get a two piece here? Plat. No, he won't. But that was a great A cap. From the side of Fake Land, and Crooked's actually going to be able to find one. Crooked is 18 and 8 with a sub, and S2 is 17 and 9. They are absolutely cooking on this control. They want a 3 0. They want this $400. Not going to be able to get that turn on, unfortunately, but Cena will barely be able to get that kill. Trying to just stay alive and see what they can do, see if they can get any kills to try to reduce this uh, uh, life deficit. Sino, nice win on S2, actually. Crooked will trade him, though. And it looks like this push is just going to be coming out of P5. An another two-piece for Crooked. As he's going to be pushing out for more kills. 21-9 and nine on a three-streak. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Make it a four-streak. Crooked trying to just be a rat and be a nuisance and get these kills for his team. Fake land here. But Sino is going to shut him down. Back L. And just like that... Finally, Vanguarders have a little bit of breathing room. However, we see number three trying to make a play here. Is he going to be able to take out Sino? Yes, he will. What else can CRC do? The members are going to know he's there, and he chows and gets a two-piece. One more. Will he be able to get the third? No, he gets shut down. And Cherish is not going to be able to make anything happen in their spawn as well. CJ getting shut down from top comms. We're going to hop on board with S2. A nice win from him. He's going to be trying to play his life here. Challenge Cherish, not going to be able to win that. And CRC, not actually going to be able to kill Sino Plat there. It's unfortunate. So 12 to 10 here in this control. They actually are going to be hopping, uh, or excuse me, they actually are going to be trying to flank. Um, but it's going to be hard with this number eight player on the tank. However, he takes him out. That's two down. Only two players remaining. Only one player remain remaining for the side of Vanguarders. And they know where he is at. But yes, however... He gets a two-piece. Will he be able to get a third? He's going to have to chow time. He does not. S2 on a five-killing streak. Again, 22 and 12. Playing this back tank power position. Pandemic picking up some kills or a kill on his own. Excuse me. And you see this flood from top. Comms is going to be crazy. They get one. Looking below him. He's not going to be able to see anyone. He's getting team shotted. Cherish has to get this trade. He does. There will be one more remaining and, uh, member, and he does win that. So, see it. So, the uh, members of Vanguarders, or the only member of Vanguarders, is going to have to uh, see what he can do here. This is going to be almost impossible, folks. Just like that, 3 0 come in from Fake Land, and all they need is one more map, and they win the 4v4.
$400 prize pool today, baby. After the first best of five bracket reset, S2 and Crooked are coming crazy. I mean, Crooked that whole game, 24 and 13, 18 non-traded kills. He was absolutely popping off. And we got a map four coming up now, ladies and gentlemen. Vanguarders have to win this to uh, force a map five. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we got a spicy map four coming at you guys. Now, this is going to be insane. We got Bowcage Hardpoint, map four. Now, remember, this is the second best of five. So whoever wins this best of five takes home this $400 and the second place team gets absolutely nothing. Vanguarders are going to have to win this Bowcage Hardpoint. And to take it to a map 5 as Fakeland on the other hand. They need one more map to close this series out. And, to, and if, they do, if they do succeed at doing that, they will have won two best of fives in a row. Nice blood out of Diablo here. Good, decent little start. S2 answering back with one of his own. Dino getting aggressive. Gets one P2. Dino not able to find that trade on... Or not able to kill Crooked. And CRC is going to be trying to hold this time. Cherish takes him down though. And CJ is going to take down Crooked as well. Endemic trying to stay alive on this black card power position. Picks up one. Chow's the Diablo but will not win it. And <laughs> Crooked trying to throw a nade and win that gunfight. But it's not going to be able to. Sino recognizes that he will be hitting the back. That's a great kill here. And number five, CJ uh, is actually going to be playing Hut. They're trying to hold some of this time if they can. We'll get one, but gets traded. They, uh, the side of Vanguarders will... Or, uh, the teams are backwards as well. <laughs> the sides of Fake Land um, will uh, have spawns, excuse me. And number four, S2 pushing out. Able to kill Cherish. He's going to be playing like... A nuisance here, but Sino gets a two-piece with a nade and a nice gunfight win. And he's going to be pushing through Barn, but gets shut down by Crooked. Crooked's going to be already out uh, tools trying to get kills from these players crossing to the hill. And that's going to be two down, but gets traded by CJ. We're going to see what CJ can do. Gets a two-piece. He's going to be challenging Hill. He chows and not going to be able to win that against CRC, however. CRC gets chowed and wins another one against Sino. Thankfully, he was one shot. S2 winning a gunfight of his own. Pandemic looking over him on hill. Not going to be able to find anything. And this last 20 seconds looks like it is going to be going towards fake land. Crooked, 7-3. and three, Absolutely popping off in this grand finals. He's going to be able to kill Diablo as well, but gets traded out. 36, or 38 and counting, 218. We are going into this grandma's hill right now. And currently... Fake Land is trying to play for these spawns, and they do get spawns, and CRC wins one. They able to get two. That's a nice two-piece. And actually, <laughs> Fake Land is able to take control of this uh, of this uh, Grandma Sill, even though Vanguarders had control and rotated first. Tino kind of be playing his life on time, but going to get child. CJ picks up one on his own, however. Not going to be able to... Win that gunfight against CRC on a four kill streak and has more than 40 seconds in time. Nine and five. He's absolutely popping off on this bow S and D. And with the team shots, look at the team shots. Look at the kill feed. It's all blue. And just like that, on a five killing spree, CRC goes trying to play for this glide bomb. We're gonna hop. We're gonna stay on board with him and see if he can get it. This is such a crucial streak, and he actually will not be able to. Get that glide bomb, but Pandemic taking one out, getting traded immediately, and Cherish in the back, making a good play, but he's actually going to be getting flanked, and he actually looks, oh, and he wins that one against S2, or yeah, against S2, and Sino top barn, able to kill Crooked on the cross, trying to be annoying and just play for these kills right here. Cherish with the two piece of his own on a five killing streak. Let's hop on board with him and see what he can do. He's popping off, gets shut down by Crooked, however, and CJ going to try to make something happen he is 10 and 11 the side of uh, vanguarders their kills are a little slow right now so i'd like to see them uh, pick up their kills and uh start winning a little more of their ones and i feel like uh they're right in this game the rotations have been on point diablo with a nice win against crooked and this last 20 looks like it's gonna go to the side of vanguarders and these and fake land is going to rotate to p5 here 
TRC. 15 and 8 absolutely popping off this map. However, number 8 slipped through. Will they will they be ready for this? No, they're not. Diavel gets one. He's going to be playing for these kills, trying to push him. Gets another. It's going to be one more on him. Crooked, will he be able to win this? He's going to stay down. CJ has his help. And S2 doing anything he can to grab that time. Diavel on a 5 killing streak. Or on a 5 killing streak, excuse me. See if he can try to get these streaks as well. And 80 to 75 and counting. This lead is starting to get narrower and narrower. And just as I say that, four goes down for the side of Fake Land. Or for the side of Vanguarders. And Fake Land are absolutely having their way now. It is so hard to break this P5 once you have it set up and you have your ARs looking over you. Cherish wins a big 1v1 and is not going to be able to take out S2, however. Crooked on a 5 killing streak. He's feeling himself now. 19 and 10. And he is going to be able to get that trade on Diablo. It's going to be one off streaks, actually. Oh, and he's channeling CJ. Almost got that nasty snap. But got taken out because of the team chow there. Sino going to be playing P2 right here. He does know that these players spawn here. He's not going to be able to win that one against Crooked. However, CJ on the other side of the map trying to make, trying to hit a route here, make a play. Picks up two of his own. There's going to be one more player below him. He's looking for him, and he will pick him up. However, he gets shot in his back from Pandemic. And Diavel, 17 and 15, he's really picked it up um, as, uh, from the start of the game. As I say that, he gets shut down by S2. In his last 25, CJ with a nice two-piece. He's going to hop on board with him. See if he can get this other kill. Yes, he can. Make that a three-streak. 20 and 17, CJ is popping off. He does not want this map to end. He knows that they can win this. S2 winning a great gunfight against CJ. That's going to be two down for the side of Vanguarders. Cherish, though, with some nice shots. And Diavel with a nice win. Three down. And the last player will be CRC. However, he will get taken out. And let's see what the side of Vanguarders can do, or what the side of Fake Land can do here with this hill. And Crooked getting shut down by CJ S2 looking for this roamer. He will find him. A Diablo on time. He does know S2 is in barn, but S2 is not going to be able to see him, I don't think. Diablo still soaking all of this time. 124 and counting to 111. Vanguarders have turned it up. They do not want to lose this. They want this grand finals and this $400. Diablo, though, not winning that crucial gunfight against S2. And this 20 seconds will be huge for whatever team can get it. That's a multi-kill you saw there from S2 as well. It looks like uh, we're gonna. these guys are going to be flying at this hill. It's not going to... They're not going to be able to get any time off of it as CJ somehow does not get either of those two kills. S2 on new, and as you see on your mini-map, Vanguarders are actually spawning on the other side of the map. Player number two in a great position. Might be able to get this kill tunnel. Yes, he will. And Crooked finding one of his own on gate. Able to get a two-piece there on Sino. Not able to make it a three-piece, though. Cherish 17 and 21. And Vanguarders need a break here if they want, if they want some of this time. Diablo, though. Coming in, getting some kills of his own. Crooked trying to shut Cherish down, but he's not Cherish. He's one shot playing his life. He will get taken out. And just like that, all players are dead besides Crooked for the side of Fake Land. This is a huge 20 seconds if you are on the side of Vanguarders. So, you know, the nice kill. Gotta be hit. Gotta chow old. And there's gonna be actually one on steps as well, and he will take him out, so. That's going to be two down. Make it three, and last guy's going to be Zig. And fake, or excuse me, Vanguarders actually have the rotations for this. Barnhill, too. S2 trying to win that gunfight. He's not. Pandemic takes out CJ. P2 and Crooked is trying to stay alive on time. He's trying to just do anything he can to notch out and try to get some picks here. This is such a big hill for them. And CRC gets shut down. Crooked does not win that one up top. Sino on a two streak, trying to turn up for his team right here. That's a good nade. Trying to look for those spawn kills, but is not going to be able to pick up anyone. Sino doesn't win that. CJ hitting the back, though, and is able to get one with the help of his teammate. Crooked picks up one as well. 
And there's going to be two old, it looks like. TJ on new might have a good rotation. No, gets shut down, actually. And because of that win, they flip there. And luckily, fake land have spawns for new now. All they have to do is try to get these kills. Number eight, Diablo hitting a route. Crook is going to try to take him out, and he will. And you see these deep spawns coming out for the side of Vanguarders. They are spawning so deep. CJ at least able to take a guy out in the hill. Pandemic, though, able to tr trade one out. And number two and number seven are going to have a gunfight. Cherish is going to win that. And the spawns flip, actually. And S2 hitting top. He's going to have a route here. Going to be able to pick up one. He's going to... Uh, he's actually going to get shot through the bush. Not going to be able to shot time. But CRC is able to take the hill down. Or the guy off the hill down. Sino able to win this gunfight against Andrew. Wow. And this last 15 seconds looks like... Vanguarders are gonna hold it. And this setup 2P1 is crucial. The side of Fake Land. All they they need to hold. And they have a decent hold here. Or make it scrappy and then uh, try to get a good P2. Broken makes CJ one shot. Does not win that. He's getting shot at. Trying to play his life. Finesses and able to get one. It's naded though by his teammate. That's unfortunate. Sino picks up one. Gonna get shot in the back, but it's gonna stay alive, actually. Sino's playing his life here. We'll finally be able to get in the action and kills one. S2 in S2 trying to just play for this scrap, trying to find this kill. The game 180 to 210. This is very doable. Or either squad. It's gonna come down to this P2, and this P2 is gonna be absolutely huge. Pandemic gets one. He's gonna have to go huge. He does not win that. Last two in barn. Last, yeah, last two in barn. TRC gets taken down, and S2 gets taken down as well. That is going to be a four wipe. Oh, actually, three wipe. Excuse me. Last guy's in the back. Crook, can he, can he make the play? He kills one. Trying to play his life. And try to, and his team does have spawns now, actually. Diablo trying to stay alive on point. He cannot, though. CRC with an insane two-piece. And Crooked. Pushing out middle here. He's able to find one. Trying to get these kills for his team. Not able to kill Sino though. 201 and counting to 213. Diablo picks up S2 on time. He gets another Diablo with an insane win. Makes... Oh, wow, that would have been... That would have actually been insane. Pandemic makes that Pandemic absolutely one shot outer. And Sino able to kill Pandemic and clean him up here. Cherish looking over him. And Vanguarders have a great team shot... And create teamwork right here. As you see, the spawns are actually going to flip. And they will not win off this. But Fake Land will have rotation going into Grandma's Hill. Cherish. Or, excuse me, Cherish. Uh, the side of uh, CJ with a nice two-piece. The side of uh, Vanguarders, their kills, honestly, I mean, the sides of both teams, no one's really out slaying or uh, popping off. But um, I, I, could change, I could all change right here. CRC. Not able to kill Sino, actually. Pandemic finds one. CRC, with the help, he's able to kill one. Pandemic has to try to win this gunfight and stay alive here. And S2 has his help. So it's going to be still 217 and counting to 240. The side of Fake Land are trying to fight. They still want this. They can still win this. Andrew, crooked, getting cracked. Not going to be able to win that. But Cherish is going to chow that S2 with a nice two-piece. S2 with the three-piece. Get takes down Sino. And Diablo will be uh, trying to fight for that. And he actually will, ch will chow it and will not win it. Sino with one of his own. And the timer is something... Mm, actually, the timer is probably not going to be a factor. But it's something to think about. S2 with an insane three-piece. And... This game is <laughs> this game is right neck and neck going into this barn hill, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna need a break here, and Pandemic might be able to one to do it. He gets one. He does not see him top steps though. Terrace trying to win these gunfights on time. Diablo picks up one. Four points are all that's needed. Two points now. He kills CRC. And 250 to 245. Vanguarders win the series. Oh my goodness, that bow cage was insane. The whole time Vanguarders were up and then Fake Land makes an insane comeback. S2 pops off right here. It's a freaking three, four piece. I don't know, it's three piece, but oh my goodness.
Crooked with 41, SC with 43. On the other side, CJ with 44 popping off. That was a, that was a uh, hectic map. There's a lot of engagements if you look at their deaths and uh, kills. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a map 5 in our second best of 5. We're going to get started in just a minute. All right, boys, we are finally here to the last map of this tournament. The winner of this map wins $400, and the second place team gets absolutely nothing. Can Fake Land close this out and win two best of fives, or will Vanguarders regain and win the second best of five coming from winners? You see, this is going to be a slow map five. Both teams taking it slow, not wanting to get blooded. As Diablo, whoa, 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 we got Diablo breaking, breaking GAs, whoa, 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 chat, 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 yo, yo, whoa, like, I ain't finna say anything, but like, hey, they watched the VOD back, like, you're gonna be getting an earful, Diablo, like, all good though, all good though, we'll, we'll forget about it, but, uh, anyways, team's literally just trying to find picks here, Bearish might be able to actually find a pick on Crooked Top Barn, doesn't spot him though. He does uh, spot his gun. Kill, able to kill S2, but gets traded. Sino playing back tank, trying to see what he can do. Looks like Crooked might be trying to play through this. It's gonna have a gunfight up top against Diablo. Almost wins it actually, but gets taken out. There's only 10 seconds left on this clock. DRC's gonna have to put the bomb down. He will get taken out, but. Pandemic will trade it, and he just does not have time to plant. Just like that, Vanguarders take the first round in this bow cage, S and D. Who's commentating? It's your boy, Logan Sitched. The one and only. The one and only. A nice 1-0 start from the side of Vanguarders here. Diablo 2-1, he did pop off on this map last time that they played this Pandemic 2-0 on the other side for Fake Land. And we're going to see, we're going to hop on board with uh, Diablo here actually. See if he can get anything going. He's 2-1 like I said and he had 5 first bloods the first time they played this Boat Cage S&D. Jerish knows someone's back tank, he's going to try to... Get this pick. He does see his head somehow and is able to take him out. CRC gets blooded. And just like that, 4v3 in favor of Vanguarders. Garish taking advantage of the map space and Sino's going to be able to get a free bomb plant or should at least. DJ playing that playing that lurker role and hitting those routes of 1v4 all up to S2 with bomb down. He's going to have to make something magical happen here. CJ's gonna win that with the double melee. And just like that, 2 0, Vanguarders go up. And that was a great blood out of Cherish onto Hums there. They couldn't even see his head, and he <laughs> ripped him off that. that was, that's, that's such a crucial angle to uh, to play, especially if you're an AR on defense. So, good good wins from him. Cherish, 3 and 1, and Diablo, 3 and 1. You guys are popping off. Bearish on a two streak, actually. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna hop on board with the uh, Diablo here. Makes contact with the nades, so he does get that information for his team. You just see how slow these teams, and specifically these offensive teams, are playing. They're just trying to see what each team will give each other, and right now it's nothing. Picks trying to be found from anywhere. And actually, CJ's going to eat that nade. 
like Pandemic might try to work something here. Botch CJ. CJ's gonna peek it in Pandemic, not gonna be able to take him out. However, these members, it's gonna be one right next to Pandemic. His gun actually covers that. That's unfortunate, but S2 wins a one on his own. Sino playing post on a bomb site. Waiting for this plant. 3v4, or 3v3, excuse me. Looks like uh, the side of Fake Land is gonna rotate this to B, maybe. DJ trying to pick up one. He's not gonna be able to get any as S2 is able to get a nice two piece last alive. Is Sino in a 1v3? Is not able to get any, and that is gonna be the first round finally for Fake Land. Before we know it, this channel is going to blow up. Oh, you already know. You already know. We're going to we're gonna have this channel pop, and we, we hit affiliate too. Like, know the vibes. As we go into round number four here, S2 able to pick it up and able to get um, three last round, actually, I believe. So we're going to see what he's going to do. And actually, it looks like the side of Vanguarders playing slogan trying to get a pick. Diablo not able to get any any information. Pandemic with the nice blood. And CJ's gonna run into a gunfight here. He's gonna try to play his life. CJ's gonna try to hit a route here. Might be able to actually get behind these players. However, he has to be careful because there is a player directly behind him. Able to get that kill onto CRC. Makes Pandemic one shot. He's going to have to Chalice. Yes, he wins it. It's all up to Andrew Crooked. He wins one. Going to be a 1v2 now. As this would be such a monumental round if Fake Land can win this. Nice shots out of Andrew. It's going to be a 1v1. Sino versus Crooked. Actually, he does not spot him L. But Sino, I think, does. Now he knows he's L. Andrew with the 1v3! A nasty 1v3 to take the round and make it 2-2. Oh my goodness. And with that round, he'll be at 4 and 2 with or on a 4 kill streak, excuse me. Oh my goodness. This is <laughs> now that is typical. Putting a 1v3. Basically, with Bomb down, they laid Bomb right after he got that first kill, but wow. Shout out to Crooked for that, man. That was, like I said, a monumental round. And we're going to see if uh, Fake Land can piggyback off that and carry that momentum into this round. So, um, oh, and it looks like something happened with the game, folks. So, it is going to be 2-2. Two -two. It will be first two four rounds whenever we uh, get back in the game. Uh... It's unfortunate, because there's, uh, I'm pretty sure Andrew was, yeah, on a four streak. That sucks. Oh, we'll be in there momentarily. Thanks to Logan for his stellar casting. Oh, of course, Nick, anything for you. Anything for you, you're the best. Logan is the best commentator, should be hired for this. Hey, I'm alright, I'm alright, I appreciate it. I'm trying to do my best. I'm trying to do my best. Maybe when he retires, lol. That's what I'm saying. Get a little accent and start commentating an accent the whole time. Oh, CJ makes him one shot. Gonna be able to win that gunfight. <laughs> Imagine. That would be hilarious. Oh, Vanguarders, take the round. Uh, I just got a DM saying Crooked's fire alarm is going off. <laughs> what? <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally back to finish off our COD 4v4 Vanguard tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before, first place gets $400, second place gets nothing, and automatically, or immediately, we have CJ hitting a flank. He's going to be able to get a blood for his team. Automatically makes that a 4v3. And CJ's just going to try to play his life. I don't know if he actually spotted Crooked there, but Crooked's going to be reading this. No, he actually doesn't. CJ gets two. It's going to be a 4v2, but CRC picks up one on his own, and Sino does as well, so that leaves S2 in a 1v3. If you are just tuning in, it is 2-2. Two, two. S2 takes out one. It is 2-2, two, two, so it's first team to win four rounds, by the way. Sino and Diablo trying to not let S2 clutch this. They might know Bomb is down as well. Regardless, these guys are going to be playing together and making sure that S2 cannot get a two-piece. I think a little split here. Let's see what S2 decides to do. He's going to be able to kill Diablo 1v1 now. And Crooked is not going to be able to win that 1v3. Oh my goodness. That was actually insane. He made a really good play to chasing him right there. But Sino with some nice movement. Or that was S2. I'm, excuse me. S2 almost actually clutches that. And that, wow. That was a great play on the first kid. And he read the second guy too. Was not able to, to win that gunny. And Sino, 2-0. and As... Vanguarders start up 1-0, technically 3-2 now. I'm going to hop on board with player number 7, actually. Chair is trying to win a gunfight. He's not going to be able to, though. See Crooked just playing low plat here, making sure they cannot get flooded like they did one round. Pandemic might actually have a flood here. He does, yes. 4v3 now. As Vanguarders... Trying to just get another pick and stay down, or trying to get a pick and regroup, but Pandemic takes out another. So, Sino and Diablo left in a 2v4. Positive thing about this is Sino does have bomb. So, this is just, this is technically doable, but um, Crooked and uh, Diablo are going to have a uh, fight here soon. Actually, not a spot, Andrew. We'll take out S2, though. He's actually going to be able to take out Crooked as well, but CRC will trade that, so 2v1 as Sino is left in this situation. Like I said, he does have Bomb. It looks like... Try to play for the B rotation. He will spot Pandemic. Sino is going to go ahead and go for this Bomb plant. Pandemic is going to be checking it, though. And Pandemic wins that. Sino not able to stay down on that bomb. He's getting shot at right away. Good checks from Pandemic and a good trade from CRC after um, Crooked and S2 got two-piece. Diablo tried to keep him in it with <laughs> with the... Uh, actually, really good two-piece. Really good shots on both players. So we got 3-3 three to three now, ladies and gentlemen. 3-3. Three to three. And this map is just going back and forth. Map 5 in the second best of 5. Remember, second best of 5. These guys have gone the distance. I'm on board with Cherish. Looks like he's going to be challenging OP2. And he actually will get a pick. He, that's the second time he's done that now. Cherish loves that low plat. A spot where the player goes and actually gets a two-piece. It's going to be two for Cherish in the round. And you see Vanguard is just trying to get some picks. S2, though, with one of his own. Cherish is going to win that. Last alive is Crooked. But Cherish with an ace all on his own. Give him all four, he says. Should have just stuck on his POV the whole time. Give him his ace. He loves that. That <laughs> bottom plat shall laying down and it's a really good shall, so tip it, tip it.
And now, Vanguarders, or excuse me, Fake Land is going to have to answer back, winning a defense of their own. And Cherish still on this forestry because of that ace last round. No one on the side of Fake Land popping off too much yet. Now, if you're Cherish, you might want to start thinking about streaks or how you play a little bit because even though it is Bow Cage, a glide bomb could be detrimental. Both teams still playing, so trying to find a first blood. Cherish not able to find like, that kill on CRC. I think he does spot S2 up top. Yes, he does. I'm gonna switch to S2 and see what he can. And Pandemic actually picks up one though on the other side of the map. And a 2v4 immediately for Sino and Diablo. Looks like that round just collapsed very quickly. And you see the side of Fake Land just not even moving. Playing slow, making sure that they do not lose this 4v2. Looks like Diablo and Sino are going to try to work this B site. They are going to have a gunfight, though, with this player number two. Diablo is going to have to try to win this. And he is, but... And, or excuse me, but he, his teammate will, will fall. And just like that, 4-4 four to four in our grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Our second best five, our second best of five, last map. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling it's just going to go around 11. I got that feeling. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining, though. Round 11, second best five, like, that's, that's the way to end it. Pandemic 5 and 3 really teeing up here. We're going to hop on board with them. As Vanguarders, or as Fake Land trying to win an offense here. A nice blood from CRC. Will they get one? But Sino is going to be playing that close corner. Like CRC is going to try to go for this plant. The spot one. He is able to take him out. CJ on bombs. CRC's not going to be able to get that trade, th though. Or get that kill, though. Still a 3v2 in favor of Fake Land. This is a huge offense if you are Fake Land right now. But Diavel, a really good spot. Yeah, he's actually reading this. It's a great read, but... And he's able to take out one. Not able to take out two, though. As he was almost able to get a two-piece. And that would have been round-changing. Would have made it a 2v1. But now instead, CJ is put in a 2v1. Let's see if he can get anything going for him. And actually might be perfect for him, depending how he plays this. He's going to have to kind of rely on some of the timing. Like he's going to try to check his A-bomb. He spots one, but he doesn't know this player is close to him. Takes out S2. But he will be weak. And oh my goodness, CJ almost with a nasty 1v2. Oh my, that would have been insane. Good try from CJ. Pandemic able to get this trade barely, though. Luckily, he was weak a little. He was half health, so... If he was not half health, CJ was definitely winning that. And match point and tournament point for the side of Fake Land. All they need is one more round, and they will secure... This $400 prize and become our last 4v4 Vanguard champs, baby. And you see the you see the side of Vanguarders. Look how slow everyone's playing. Everyone knows this is the do or die round. No one wants to be the reason that they lose this round right now. Everyone's just going to be trying to play for a pick, seeing if any information can come out. Looking at an AR to get a blood. Yes, Pandemic does. Gets a blood on CJ. I believe CJ is pushing through River. That's the second time he's killed him like that. Cherish, though. God tank. He's going to have to make something happen. He, he does not spot S2, actually, back window. A 3v4 in favor of Fake Land. Can they close it out here? Can they become our Vanguard champs? Going to have to make a play. Got 25 seconds left on the board. And S2 actually gets taken out. That's a 3v3 now. Is Crooked playing 
bottom grandma's this bomb is gonna go down B will CRC be able to get a shot on him oh actually Diablo wins one but will get traded a 2v2 now Cherish wins a 1v1 gunfight and now a 1v2 all of a sudden in favor of Vanguarders Andrew Crooked trying to clutch up he gets one is he able to win this he clutches a we clutched a 1v3 last series is he able to clutch a 1v2 to secure this series and four hundred dollars ladies and gentlemen Decino playing slow. Andrew does not spot him. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a game five, round 11, in our second best of five. The winner of this round gets $400. It all comes down to this round. Whoever wins this will be crowned our champs. And here we go. Bakeland is going to have an offense. So they are gonna have to plant the bomb. I'm looking. I'm looking at an AR to uh, to get a blood here. That's gonna be a huge factor this round. It's, is who's getting bloods, and we're gonna hop on with Cherish. Actually, we're gonna hop on with uh, yeah, Cherish. Looks like he's doing his low plat play. Gets naded though. He's actually not going to anymore. And Diablo's top. He gets the blood on CRC. Pandemic not able to find anything with that nade, but gets a hit marker. That blood is just crucial. Now Vanguarders do not have to move. All they have to do is play for the plan. They have a perfect setup right now. Cherish watching this push through 2v4 now all of a sudden. Vanguarders need two rounds and they will become our 4v4 Vanguard champs. S2 and Crooked. It is all down on them. They have been the players to watch. They have been the players to pop off and now they need them more than ever but CJ takes out Crooked so S2 it is left to, alone to him. The lone wolf can he do anything? He's just going to fly at him and not going to be able to win and just like that Vanguarders are your 4v4 contender Fort Collins online champions ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to them. $400 going in their pocket just like that, after a bracket reset and going the distance round 11. My, my goodness. Wow. Well, everyone, that's going to uh, do it for the tournament for us. Uh, coming up, we have a 2v2 Vanguard two weeks from today. It's going to be our uh, farewell 2v2 S&D tournament. And then um, we'll have a couple online tourneys with a uh, COD agent on the weekend. So, um if you're a player and want to get involved in these, make sure to uh, follow us on Twitter and uh, follow us and get get connected with us in our Discord as well. Uh, that's where we like post all our tournaments and stuff. Um, but yeah, I will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys paid. And um, yeah, I appreciate everyone tuning in. Thank you guys so much, and I uh, hope you all have a great night. Peace.